Ah, welcome back to Shane's Main Shop. Today we got a hopefully a fairly easy project. I got a flat tie here, it's pretty weather cracked, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this one off and hopefully get this one on. And then we got our cart back. Uh, these particular wheels are a kind of like a split rim design, not like the old fashioned dangerous split rims you have to clip in here. But if I take these bolts out and this whole rim's gonna come off and then the other part will actually stay behind if we wanted it to. And then you can pull the tire, you'll see. Uh, in this case, it's just half inch. And you can see I got one missing out to fix. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these all off. And then we'll show you what it looks like when we take it apart. Okay, I got the last bolt out. Uh, you do gotta be careful, you got your um, stem for your inner tube in right there. So you just gotta make sure you're careful with that. Now in this case, I'm not too worried because that's got a hole in it too. So you can just kinda pop this out. Maybe I'll push that back in there a little bit. Once you get that out, this outer part comes off. And then you can see by what I mean by split rim, this part stays behind. So it makes it uh, relatively easy to change the tires on these. Now, obviously this has a leak in it too. And this is an old one I found. I'm hoping <laughs> that it actually holds air. So that's something we're gonna have to check. But since it comes apart so easy, I wasn't too overly worried about it. In the worst case, I can always put a patch in this, which it already has a patch. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and, oh yeah, if you would have to change your tube, so let's just assume you had to put a new tube as well, and maybe your tire was good. In this case, our tire is no good. So we're not saving that either. Um, but if you had to put a new tube, you know, your tire, you just work it back in between there all the way around. Make sure it's fully deflated. It's got a little bit of air in it, but not much. But if there's air in it, it's going to be a lot harder to do. And once you get in there, just kind of work it around a little bit. Make sure it's laying in there flat and not all wrinkled up. And then that can go right back on there like that. Now the key to this is to make sure you don't pinch this tube when you put your top rim on. So I just gotta make sure that's down and behind there. We'll work that down in there. I'm gonna have to put the bolts on and then slowly pull this down around. It's angled like this, so it kind of wants to pop up off. So let's just see here. The other thing you gotta do is make sure your bolt holes are lined up. There we go. So what I think I'm gonna do is put a bolt in over here and then slowly work that tube in around to make sure it's not going to uh, get pinched. So uh, you probably can't see there, but I, I definitely got the tube out from underneath that, so it's not being pinched. Now I can see the tube there, so clearly I gotta get it out from underneath those before I put those uh, bolts in. Uh, we'll just do that one at a time. So I'm going to work my way around, get the bolts all back in, and find a bolt to replace the one that's missing. And then we'll show you where we're at. I got it all back together here, and I worked uh, my way around to make sure that the uh, tube wasn't being pinched. I got it tightened down. Um, the interesting thing is, is this one kept going flat, but yet there's air in it. I don't see where the leak is, so we'll see. I don't know, this one might not hold there either, but I still have to change anyways, because this tie was all... It definitely need to be changed. The question is, does it need a new tube? as well. No, oh, I think we're gonna be good. You don't want to over inflate it. Hey, we're back in business. All right, and it's got the weight, uh, I mean the uh, pressure on here somewhere. So we'll find that and get it to its proper pressure right here, 30 PSI. So I'll get my tester to test that, make sure it's where it's at. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this valve cover off the old one here. Go ahead and put it right on here. And now this car's good to go. But I do wanna kinda of find out where the leak is on this. Maybe I can find it real quick. Maybe it can be patched. There it is right there. Okay, that's a very small leak though. That easily can be patched. So that might be another video and then I'll save it in case I need to 
uh, replace any of the other ones. Yeah, that's a relatively small leak. All right, so that project's done. We have a good tire on our car. Hey, thanks for swinging by Shane's main shop. I'll put a link to in the description maybe for, uh, this happens to be a six inch or a wheelbarrow tire. So it happens to be the same size as a, at least the wheelbarrows we have around here. That's making noise. Uh, so it uh, worked out well for this. This is the um, Vigoro, I guess is how it's pronounced. Um, like a garden cart that we have. I don't even know if this is still available. It must be. I'll, I'll look if I find a link to it. It's very handy around the yard. It's very pretty durable uh, for moving stuff around the yard and uh, the way the hitch is made on this. It can actually be pulled behind a you know garden tractor or something. Just to show you that real quick. So hopefully you can see this. Uh, you can spin around, put a pin in here to pull with the handle, uh, or you can spin around, put the pin in here, and then use this to hook uh, into a garden tractor, lawn tractor, lawnmower, whatever, and pull it around like a little trailer. Uh, but we never pull it around, so I have the little trailer. I always use a pole anyway. Uh, so there you have it, a quick repair of a tire on a yard cart. Thanks for swinging by Shane's Meeting Shop. Please like, subscribe, comment, come back often for more videos. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next video.